number 39. Calculate the molality of each of the following solutions. And then we have letter B. In this case, we have 125 grams of NH4NO3 in 275 grams of water, which is a mixture used to make an instant ice pack. Cool. But in this case, we just need to find the molality, right? So there's one general formula for molality, and that is this one right here. Molality equals the moles of the solute divided by the kilograms of the solvent. But in this case, the two components that they gave me, NH4NO3 and the water, I don't know which one is the solute and which one's the solvent. They didn't explicitly say. But from the wording, we could figure it out. Keep in mind that your solute, if you count up the total letters in the solute, you'll get six letters. Count up the total number of letters of solvent, you get seven. By doing this, it kind of makes you uh, realize, and it's a cute little trick, that the smaller number always goes in the bigger number. So you will place your solute into your solvent, and together they will make a solution, which is eight letters. Now, since they told me that the NH4NO3 was being dunked in the water, the solute always goes in the solvent, the NH4NO3 has to be the solute, and the water has to be the solvent. Now, since we uh, compartmentalize which one is the solute, which one is the solvent, we could go to their correct units. So for the solute, I have to get moles. So I'm gonna take my 125 grams of the NH4 and O3 and just quickly convert it into moles. Now, how do we do that? All the way back to the beginning of chem, right? If you have a gram amount of something and you want to find out the moles, all you got to do is just take the grams and divide by the molar mass, which is on the periodic table. So let's find out the molar mass of NH4NO3. There are two nitrogens here. So I'm just going to group them together and say that I have two times 14.01. I have four hydrogens, so four times 1.008 and then I'm gonna add three times 16. So two times 14.01 plus four times 1.008 plus three times 16. And I just wanna make sure that I plug all the numbers in. That looks good to me, press enter. And that's the molar mass for ammonium nitrate, NH4NO3. So I'm gonna take my 125 and divide it by 80.052. 125 divided by, there we go, give it a couple of decimals, 1.5615, that's how many moles of the solute you have. Now, let's move on to the denominator. I need to get it in kg, which is kilograms. They gave me 275 grams of the water, which is H2O. So, let's just go to kilograms of H2O. Grams to kilograms, SI unit conversion, all we have to do is divide by 1,000. Similarly, you could take the decimal and move it to the left three times. So this would be 0 0.275. Now, since we have both of these values, we can just easily plug it in into our molality formula. Now just know that molality is like this little cute little italics M. Capital M is molarity, so just be careful. So the numerator would be 1.5615 and I'm going to divide it by 0 0.275. I'm going to just take this whole number and divide it by 0.275. That looks good to me. And there's your molality. Uh, and just know that the units, you could put the M at the end. So looks like three sig figs, so 5.69, no, 5.68, and then the little M. 
and that is the unit for molality. It's moles per kilogram, but the um, M is good as well. And that's it. What'd you think? Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. I look forward to helping you in more questions. Check the link in the description below. There's tons of links, links there. There's goodies for you guys. Uh, um, study sheets in the future coming your way. Um, check the channel out. We also got physics and math videos. And yeah, thanks so much. I will talk to you soon, okay? All right, bye-bye.